Okay, so I'm going to do a review today of Churchy. It's the new series on the Kev on Stage Studios app. He's been talking about this series for a while, and I have the app, and I've been looking forward to watching it. So I figured I may as well do a review. Um, currently on a lock journey. My style is getting old, and it's what late at night <laughs> and I wanted to make this review after I finished watching. Um, I'm actually going to get my hair retwisted this weekend, but this isn't a lock review, but you can clearly see my locks. I'll make a, another video specifically about locks another day. Um, so excuse my hair. I'm in that awkward in between stage. Um, when I go to work in the morning, I do kind of, you know, neaten up my edges, uh, throw a little eco styler gel because I heard that wasn't bad and she's been washing my hair and hasn't mentioned any problem with build up but like I said this isn't a lock review I'm just looking at my head like oh man <laughs> this is this stage where you know it's locking up okay so on to the review um the first episode is called the Passover and you're gonna see me looking off just looking at my notes I don't know. <laughs> uh, so, I really love the opening song. It's a cute song. It's like, I'm going to church today because I need him. I found myself singing it. Um, so, yeah, it's already starting off good, having a good song. I like the opening um, title and everything. Um, I loved, you know, how... Uh, you know, they just open up with the comedy pretty much. So, Kev on stage is playing a character named Corey. He's the main um, character. And they open with him going uh, live and saying, you know, pretty much he's thinking he's about to be passed over to the new church. And he's passed over. Another pastor gets the position. Hence the name Passover. The Passover for the title episode. I see what they did there. <laughs> so, um, I love just seeing him after church, scrolling through and getting different social media reactions and seeing uh, people putting, like, the Jordan crying face on him and making different memes. Like, they had something where to hear, uh, put, put uh, you know, a little slick comment and stuff like that. Uh, so that was cool. I, I like that he's already incorporating social media and stuff like that. Um, so as he's scrolling through, he also sees that there's a church gossip vlogger who's played by Angel. Her name is Laura Lee. Um, and she, you know, has an opening about what her vlog is about. And she says uh, this line saying, hey, to the altos and hoes that made me crack up. First of all, I used to be an alto when I was in the youth choir, but as I've gotten older, my voice is deep. Like right now, I'm kind of congested getting over a cold and my voice is deep. I probably should have been a tenor. <laughs> but yeah, that altos and hoes line really stuck out to me. Angel always has great energy. She's a great actress and yeah, I love every clip that they had of her in her, her character, Laura Lee. They have little clips of her, um, you know, throughout. So that's cool. Um, so then we go to, uh, Rodney, who is apparently the minister of music. Um, so he's actually pretty cute. Um, I saw a lot of the stuff leading up to the making of the show. Um, I can't remember the guy's, the actor's real name, but, uh, the character's name is Rodney, and he comes in making a joke about getting a $7 car for him. Uh, to It was supposed to be to celebrate, but shoot, the car was $7, so he still went to give it to him. He had a love offering and everything. And I feel him on those expensive cards, like, please appreciate this car, you know? <laughs> Cars are getting high these days. My daughter went to buy a birthday card for her friend. It was like a Mario pop-up card. That card was $20. I was shocked and appalled. <laughs> but yeah, um, back to the show. Uh, so uh, he's just going over all the posts with Rodney again and his fiance Keisha, uh, you know, she's like, hey, just 
you know, be sensitive about the situation. It's not something to laugh about. Uh, and the wife, Keisha, she's, she's, um, she's not a bad actress, but she doesn't seem to be flowing like everybody else. But it's probably, you know, just first episode. Uh, you know, I'm going to give her a chance with every show on a pilot. It, it's a little shaky to me. But this was the first time I saw, I got that, like, oh, this is the pilot. You know, it seemed like she wasn't flowing with everybody to me. But, yeah, she was just telling her friend Rodney, like, hey, be sensitive. This isn't something to joke about. And then, you know, she was just also saying, um, <clears throat> just a mistake. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> Situation. Um, so he goes on to the live saying that he has a big announcement. And it's like, what what is this big announcement about to be? Um, and then we keep going and, um, Keep just like, we need to get ready. That's the fiance. We need to get ready because, you know, we both have Sunday dinner. Uh, so they go to Sunday dinner. Um, and the new pastor is there, too. And, you know, Corey is throwing shots, saying, like, he's 78 years old, you know. And just, you know, like, just can't believe he really got passed over like that. Um, 78 is pretty old. But, shoot, we got a president that's pretty old. But that's neither here nor there. <laughs> uh, child, these locks. I'm gonna keep playing them out here. It's a problem. <laughs> um. So yeah. So the dad just you know just keeps it real and honest with him. Like, hey, I love you, but you really need to do some more work. Like, you know, you haven't done the real work of the church. Yes, you've done some social media stuff. He calls it playing on social media pretty much. Pretty disrespectful. But he also made some good points like, hey, you need to be leading small groups. You haven't met with um, members one-on-one. -on -one. And, you know, just saying, um, you just need like five or six more years and then I would feel comfortable. Like the dad also mentions that, you know, he blames himself partly because he sheltered him and didn't make him do all of that hands-on work. But he's like, just, you know, work with me a little while longer and you'll be ready. You're just not ready now. And, you know, Corey is like talking about all the benefits of social media and can't really believe, you know, that his dad wants him to wait five or six more years, pretty much. They both made good points, but, man... It's, it's good. It's a good show. I was like, okay, y'all both making good points. You can see both characters' point of view. So this character ve character development is really good. And shoot, this is the pilot episode. Um, So more about my notes. Uh, so as he's at the dinner, after the data say he wants him to work with him more, he goes on something that's like Clubhouse's Playhouse. Um, and again, like, they just have some familiar faces on there. Like, you see Patrick Cloud and um, Sabrina. I think there was a picture of Greg. So, that was cool just to see some familiar houses on that app. Um, familiar faces on that app. Um, so, Keisha and the friend Rodney are trying to figure out, like, why are you going live saying, like, I'm about to quit? Like, my dad's supporting me. Did I just get... <laughs> Sorry. So, after after he goes on live, he tells the people that his dad supports him, which his dad never mentioned this. <laughs> his dad supports him, and he's about to leave and start his own ministry. And the fiancé and the friend are like, hold on, what? So, he's ready to storm out. Keisha follows him, like, what are you doing? Like, we didn't discuss this. And then the friend is like, hey... We ain't even get some food. The friend Rodney is a really good addition. I like how they're playing off of each other. So I can tell he's going to be one of my favorites on there. Um, and I feel him. Like, you can get your point across, but why you got to storm out? I want my food. <laughs> so uh, Keisha's just worried about everything. Like, she's like, we, are, we won't even be able to have our wedding there. Like, I don't understand what you're doing. Like, you know, he's like... It's going to work out. Corey's like, it's going to work out, Keisha's, you know. Um, and Ronnie is like, you know, hey, I'm with you. Uh, I just can't believe, like, nobody's making any offers and stuff. And he's like, you do realize if you want to be the ministry of music, excuse me, minister of music, like, you need to be helping me figure something out, too. So, 
they start making calls. And um, oh, also another little funny part was as they're making this plan and stuff, Rodney has a plate of food. Like, hey, you made us storm out. You thought I wasn't gonna get any food. That was just another funny little part they put in there. Lots of, you know, comedic little little stuff here and there that'll make you laugh. Um, but yeah, so they come up with a plan to reach out to different churches. Um, they even called a church that he bad it on the internet before. Uh, <laughs> um, and the pastor was actually uh, Denora. I'm talking about these people like I know them, but you know, if you follow Kev on stage, you know, if, like like the Marvel Universe, you know the Kev on stage universe. So Denora uh, was on Mommy Needs a Break with Angel and Quinn. And um, I also, she's a legit actor. I've seen her on some Marvel shows, speaking of Marvel. And I also recently saw her on a America's Best um, Glasses and Contacts commercial. So, yeah, she a legit actress. And it was just cool seeing her on here, too, because he got some, you know, legit folks. It's a show. <laughs> um, not that I doubted it, but that was cool. Um, but, yeah, she was just like... You know, she started off being pleasant, but then she let him know, like, hey, we ain't cool like that. Don't try to call us now after you try to talk noise about me on the live. Kev brought out the unit again. He banging being a internet thug uh, talking about uh, this is a prosperity church and I would never, you know, be the pastor there. It's just all these little phrases and shameful things that people in church do that church shouldn't be about but you know it is what it is uh so that was just a funny scene too just seeing kev with the bed that i own and that cornrow wig just brought me back to the pandemic time and <laughs> it just was hilarious um so um yeah so what's next is uh When I get to the second episode, I'm going to have my stuff together more. <laughs> um, okay, so earlier on in the episode, the main character, Corey, had been ignoring his grandmother's call. And his friend, Roddy, had been like, you can't ignore your grandmother's call. Like, you don't do that. Um, so this time she called and he was going to ignore it again. And Rodney was like, you're going to go to hell. Like, pick it up. So he picks it up and he talks to his grandma. And, um, you know, you know they, they're they catching up and stuff. And she was just saying how her pastor just is not there. He's gone. And, you know, they really need a pastor. And, of course, you see the light bulb come on in Corey's head. Uh, so, you know, of course he catch up with his grandmother and stuff like that, made a little line about soul food that was cute and fun. <coughs> Excuse me, getting over a cold. I'm telling you, it's rough out here, y'all. Um, so, um, yeah, so, yeah, so the grandma's saying that the pastor is missing. She thinks he might have had a mental breakdown. She's not sure, and she doesn't like the replacements that he's been having. So, you know, he's like, oh, okay, light bulb perks. He hangs up, gets on live. This man really do like social media. His dad had a point, like, bro, you really kind of playing on social media. Um, and he announces that he's going to uh, start his new ministry in Lubbock, Texas. Just... <laughs> didn't talk to anybody at the church didn't really make any other plans just announced like hey I'm going and I'm taking over their church he didn't mention it was his grandmother's or anything but yeah he's like I'm I'm about to start a new uh church in Lubbock so funny enough the next title the next episode episode two is titled Lubbock so we'll see you know what else comes from this so yeah uh that was just a loose review I didn't give you all the ins and outs. I definitely recommend it. Um, Kevin, Kev on stage has been talking about working on this for years. And um, it's it's good. I, I recommend it. I'm glad I have the app, um, Kev on stage app. Um, really good original content overall. I also like the uh, 
uh, getting your black card off layaway with Keisha E. I loved Love on Stage. That's what made me keep the app because I was paying like month by month. But I was like, let me just go and pay for the year because uh, I really like Love on Stage. I love Real Comedians. Um challenge. I like the workplace comedy. Like I would recommend the Kev on Stage app. Um I'm sad that here's the thing isn't gonna be on there anymore, but hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. It's so much other stuff to watch. Like I just I'm not finna pay for Patreon. Um because I just you know I got Netflix, Hulu, the Kev on Stage app, all these other podcasts I listen to on Spotify, YouTube podcasts like, you know, that's fine. Um but yeah. For Churchy, definitely will recommend. Ready for the second episode, which I will review. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, and I'll I'll put up the review for the second episode, um, uh, either tomorrow or Tuesday. All right, y'all take care.